Welcome to the first in a number of uh, short tutorials on Sailaway. Um, this is partially due to the fact that we have uh, some new players who are getting into the game and some are sailors, some have never sailed before and uh, I just want to go through the game and uh, give them a little bit of a, a leg up to help them uh, enjoy their sailing a little bit more. So at present I'm in the options screen and I'm just going to go through each of these. I'm going to go through the interface today and uh, we'll go from there. So in the boat section we have four different boats. The Mini Transit which I recommend as a beginner. Um, it gives you good speed, uh, good maneuverability. Um, I like uh, the, that there are less lines than the 38. Um, if you want more of a, a cruising atmosphere, the catamaran is pretty good. And lastly, the Caribbean Rose is always a nice boat to start out on as well, as it is very, very simple. Anyway, back to the Mini Transit. If you wish to, you can edit the boat's appearance. I'm not going to do that now, but... Um, Giving your boat a name and a home port is always a, a good idea to start with. You can do the rest uh, later. Uh, back to the options screen again. <clears throat> In the activity section, I do recommend doing the tutorials. There are quite a number of them, which uh, will get you started in some way. Hopefully I can extend on those and uh, help you a little bit more. Next is the challenges. That's probably the next step that you should take doing your first trip, which gives you a badge and then tacking and then you know do as many as you want and you can see what your time is compared to other players. Races. This is uh, what I like doing the most. Um, at the moment, there's not that many races. There are the the uh, weekend long, short, and medium race. We also have weekly wetness and then every hour, oh sorry, and also the Cape Verde short track, which is once a week. We also have once an hour, uh, two auto trim races in a row and then the manuals and it goes on and on. And then lastly, there's the open invitations if you want to sail with other people. Uh, the options section, well, I'm not going to go through account, audio or video, you can look at those yourself, fairly self-explanatory. The gameplay one is, uh, is one that's pretty interesting. Um, obviously English auto sale uh, basically means that you don't have to do anything except for just steer the boat and all of the sails are, are done for you. Uh, for some people this is a good way to start because it allows them to just maneuver and uh, find speed in different directions and note how the boat does different things. In uh, beginner and basic mode, and maybe also advanced, let me just check for a second. Yeah, it does let me in advanced as well. It allows me to click on this button here, which uh, lets sail away optimi optimize the sail trim. I, uh, I usually run in uh, expert mode, but I think for people that are just starting out, picking any of you know the auto sale, beginner or basic, maybe even advanced, uh, you know, gives you a lot of uh, a lot of information because in the auto sale mode, as I was saying before, you get to see the sales being changed in beginner mode uh, they don't give you access to all of the sheets a sheet is a rope which controls the the sail uh, and you get as you go up each level you get more uh, control of more sheets so you get more control of more uh, parts of the boat um, down here when sailing offline you can have a number of different options navigate adjust sheets and sail area to just adjust seats to just navigate only and or stop sailing when offline 
Uh, I like my boats to move around. I often just have it on navigate and adjust sheets. Um, you can get emails or you can turn them off completely. Um, and then just the, the depths and whatever else. Uh, some people like to up the zoom speed for the map. Uh, be careful when you're using the map. If you do it too quickly, you'll find that there's a little bit of a map bug at the moment. It turns a little bit white. So anyway, back. Um, let me go to options again, and we will go into uh, beginner mode. And yep, that's right. And resume. I'm in the mini transit at present, and I'm off the south, off, uh, off of France. Over here we have the information that we need. What I will do is I'll just show you quickly. You need to close all of the tabs. Uh, you can pull it in, pull it out, and you'll actually get a larger um, screen there. You can also uh, click the down button here which allows it to become a little bit more translucent I point it there um, the white sky on the white background I wish that we could actually uh, change the color of these someday then we have obviously the map and you zoom in and out just by using the mouse scroll button there um, we can also set up waypoints and I will show you that in a in a, in a later video on our GPS here, we have a number of, well, quite a lot of information actually. Um, <clears throat> for, as a beginner, you don't really need to know too much about this to begin with. Um, I will cover it more when I'm looking at racing and also when I'm setting up waypoints. Trim is a very important tab to look at. Uh, as we don't have any sales up at present, there's nothing showing here. So let's have a look at these wheels and what they tell us so just by mousing over it you can actually see or it gives you a, a help pop-up to tell you what's what's going on so we've got speed speed over ground uh, your course over the ground which is often different from your heading depending on uh, current and uh, the motion of the boat uh, the leeway motion means that uh, you know the boat's being pushed by the wind, uh, obviously in a certain direction. Your uh, TWA is your true wind angle. This is very very important. Your AW, AWA is your apparent wind angle. Um, you can look at the tutorials or you can uh, read online about the difference differences between these. Your true wind speed, which is um, pretty important, and your apparent wind speed, which is the difference uh, between your boat motion and uh, what the true wind speed is. Okay, I now want to talk a little bit about uh, the map itself. Um, having a look at some of these different uh, pointers here. We have TWD, which is our our true wind direction and at the moment it's coming straight down on us uh, we have the COG which is the same as the course over ground here uh, which is pointed in this direction um, we'll find that that's most likely due to as I said before um, the direction differing because of the current and the motion of the boat we have the bearing to waypoint the BTW it's a little hard to see on this map um, okay and you can also see some of these lines through here and what are these well uh, they're really about wind direction so if I for instance went up here if I teleported up here I'm expecting the wind to come from this direction so let me just test this and yes the wind angle is a little bit different if I let this refresh for a second and we will see the the winds down here are sort of straight and then turning if I come down here 
and move. I'm expecting, yes, as it has happened, that the uh, the wind has come from here. So, although a lot of people use windy.com, uh, and I do as well, especially to find good wind, um, and to, you know, the prediction of the wind, which is usually uh, two hours behind windy, but it's not an exact science. Um, and you will also think that the, the waves are, you know, are coming in that direction as well. Um, often on the map, it's, it's probably better to look at these, these lines here because uh, we get a much better idea of what actually is happening in-game. Okay, that finishes off the, the quick map section. Uh, next, we'll be looking at uh, the waypoint system.